Hello guys and gals, me Mudahar. Oh, you haven't had a video like this in a while, have you? With just some pure gameplay, no camera, no defocusing camera indeed. Nobody calling out my cum-ridden pop filter. Yes, I've read the messages, I read the comments all the time. Now, this is a late night video, and I just wanted to get some things off my chest. I've been thinking this for actually the last few hours, and I just wanted to just articulate it in a video entirely. Because it's important to me. Now, I've seen, I, I basically tweeted out a couple things where I said, I really have to reconsider uploading to this website. If you don't know what's been going on, basically YouTube it has entered a situation where it seems like a lot of content that I make, a lot of content that people I follow make, basically a lot of critical commentary uh, channels are, are facing a bit of a fucking issue going forward. Now, this is without a doubt one of the most popular forms of entertainment on the platform, critical commentary, and it comes in all forms, shapes, and sizes. You'll probably enjoy videos from me, you'll enjoy videos from Charlie, aka Critical, or Penguin Zero, you'll enjoy videos from someone like Optimus, you'll enjoy videos from a lot of creators out there that make critical commentary, but also provide a fun, interesting, funny twist to it. Now, don't get me wrong, there's an issue with toxicity on this platform, and I totally understand that there's harassment and bullying that happens, and there is no place for any of that. But, to see a lot of vague laws, vague rules created on the YouTube terms of services just really fucking shocks me going forward, man. Like, I'm not even kidding with you. Knowing how vague some of these terms are, like, basically, I've been on, I've been on this platform, I didn't notice this clause, and I feel like I should have, but back in December 2019, there was a clause that popped up that basically outright said that if you're, I guess, monetizing hatred or, or some generic vague shit like that, then your channel could be put up to a termination or, 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 or face a strike warning, whatever you want to call it. It's very vague, and of course it's intentionally kept very vague. Because when you keep rules like this in such a vague format, it's very, very easy to enforce them in an umbrella fashion. People who are not guilty of anything in this situation can be taken down, and, and that's just a situation. And it burns me a little bit more, like I know it burns a lot of other creators, when there's people out there that have, for the longest time, gotten away with outlandish shit like faking a girlfriend's death or other 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 really stupid things and have gotten away scot-free and not only have gotten away scot-free but have been actually incentivized by youtube to continue making that content and that's the biggest problem we face either you are so fucked up and detrimental to the entire system that youtube says fine you're good or you're in a situation like me optimus charlie and a lot of these other channels where you'll make a video and it's kind of like you're walking on fucking eggshells. Now, in my defense over here, and in my, like, case, rather, I'm not so concerned about this. YouTube is not a job, you know? Like, I don't look at this as a job. You know, there's a lot of other avenues in my life that I use to survive and thrive with. And, you know, YouTube is not you know, sort of someone that I have to suck up to. It's not really that situation for me. And for a lot of creators, it actually isn't really even that situation anymore. Everyone tends to go into a lot of diversification, whether that be sponsors or or live streaming or things like that. There are other ways for all of us creators to get by. And in, in, my, in my case, this isn't even sort of my own necessity. I do YouTube as a hobby purely for fun. But the problem with that is when you do something as a hobby for fun, you have to actually play by YouTube systems. Systems. And YouTube systems have slowly and surely become much more difficult to work with as time has went by. It's not impossible, and it never will be. I'll always make content that works within the system and works just fine, and I've been doing it for the longest time possible. But that doesn't excuse the fact that it's just gotten downright difficult to work with as the years fucking crossed. Like, I'm sorry to say it that way. It is definitely becoming a weirder platform to operate on. And now, with all that said... When I made tweets about me leaving the platform or things like that or looking at a different platform, I wasn't I wasn't kidding. You know, if another platform as big as YouTube was to pop up tomorrow and offered less of the bullshit, I probably would consider switching. But it got me thinking, you know, with all of this Twitch stuff lately where they have to worry about DMCAs and shit, how likely is it that the next popular website that comes out eventually just turns into what YouTube is anyways? You know, it's like when you become so big that, you know, you, you have to start following by a higher echelon of rules. That's kind of where YouTube is anyways. So 
anytime another creator comes out, anytime another platform comes out, they end up just becoming YouTube anyways. And it's slowly become the case with Twitch. As Twitch has become more popular, more relevant in the mainstream, yeah, guess what? They have to start following the exact same rules YouTube does. So it doesn't even become a situation of, hey, can I switch to this other platform and have a good time? No, 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 you're fucked, okay? You have to be part of this platform. <laughs> you have to pull a good time and have a grand old day. And that's just, that's just what it comes down to. And... Beyond that, tonight, I went to some of my older videos, some of my private haunted gaming videos that, you know, I privated a long time ago. I looked through a lot of it, and it reminded me of an older Muda, you know, a clean-shaven Muda. And it really kind of fucking reinvigorated me. Alongside working with this Metal Gear video that I'm on, which, yeah, it's going to take a sweet fucking time because this is a big fucking passion project of mine. It made me realize that this is the kind of stuff that I like doing on YouTube, and you know what? As shitty as the platform is... It'd be even shittier if I was to just walk out on it and leave it, and I feel the same way for other creators who are kind of thinking of leaving. Again, everyone's different, and everyone has a different story, but at least with me, all right, I look at YouTube as a bubble, right? Like, yeah, there's a whole grander community aside from me, but we've got our own small little community here at Some Ordinary Gamers, and I really fucking enjoy it. And I like all of you. I've met some great people through this community. I've had some great fucking times of my life through this entire community. This has been one of the best highlights of my fucking life. That I'm not even saying <laughs> very lightly. This is a highlight of my life type of shit. And if the day ever came that YouTube axed me, put the hammer down, and started really gunning for channels like mine, or Criticals, or anybody, or, or people in our sphere, then yeah... Sure, I'd have to step away from YouTube. At that point, I'd be fucking forced out of the system. But until that day comes, I don't ever really plan on leaving. I'm here for the foreseeable future, whether that be making content on, you know, image boards, viruses, the deep web, uh, you know, the video game here and there, <laughs> you know, once in a blue moon. Uh, I have a SWAT 4 video, but I have not released that because of the sensitive nature of things going on right now. Um, and then... You know, sometimes, sometimes, you know, having a good old time laughing at, like, some cringe 3 a.m. stuff on the internet. But that's one of the reasons why I don't plan on leaving, you know, because I do actually really enjoy this. I still do. And I've probably, even with all of the bullshit on YouTube that you have to fucking deal with as a creator, I have actually enjoyed my time more recently than ever before. Because I personally make the content that I genuinely feel like I want to make on a day-to-day -day basis, and I like it. And it's because of you that I like it this much. Like, ladies and gentlemen, all things considered, as shitty as this platform has gotten from a rules perspective, unless that hammer comes down on all of us and we're forced out, I'm here for the foreseeable fucking future. And that's why... I will not be leaving this YouTube channel. It's just not going to happen. So if I put that seed in anybody's head, yeah, you know, I, I, look, it's a complicated fucking situation, but at least for now, it'd be silly for me to just leave and leave this community that I've built that we fucking built hanging. Maybe it's the Metal Gear Solid 5 in me talking that I've been playing recently, but I've just been feeling some type of way, man. And with all things considered, one of the strongest things that I've also had to mention, another point, is things like burnout. While I also enjoy the content that I've made, I think another big reason why this video uh, exists is actually because I've been feeling a different type of burnout lately, and it's not anything to do with making content. I, I actually really love making content. The other thing that I actually have to just do way less of is see the world. Like, honestly, living here in Canada right now, Toronto, we're locked in pretty fucking hard, okay? Like, leaving the house, it's starting to happen, but, I mean, we still have a lot of these public fines that are being enforced and all this nonsense. So, I gotta stay inside the house, I gotta do what I do, and call it a fucking day. It, it's, it's literally that type of situation. And being stuck inside my house... While at the same time producing content, internet-related content, and then looking at the state of the fucking world through the eyes of the internet, it's a tough situation to see, man. And it's it's a really heart-wrenching world to fucking witness right now. 2020 has been, without a doubt, one of the most interesting and awful years. You know, we started this year off with threats of World War III, and, you know, we're, we're now getting into a situation where it seems like civil war is on the fucking loose. 
But at the same time as shitty as 2020 has been, I've had one of my favorite years possible just because I met good friends like Night Talks, Mama Max, Blame It on Jorge, and Expo, Lowy Lane, all these people when I went to like PAX earlier on in the year. So there have been some fucking highlights. There's also been some goddamn terrible points of 2020. And I guess that's just one of the big reasons I wanted to make. It's not burnout. It's just the state of the world is so fucked right now that it makes it so difficult to make content and like sort of like... You know, it, it makes you want to take a break, but you also can't take a break because when you take a break, you just see more of the fucking world than ever before. And it's just a complicated situation going forward. But yeah, that's really just what I wanted to ultimately talk about. I won't really be leaving YouTube. I've, you know, maybe there's a consideration in somebody's mind. Of course, there's always going to be a consideration, but until the fucking YouTube hammer drops down on all of us. There's just no fucking point in leaving, you know, we've we've witnessed too much of this drama nonsense, we've witnessed too much of all of this bullshit collapsing on us in 2020, and with all these vague guidelines that YouTube is introducing, which yes, they are vague, yes, they're out there, and I wish, I fucking wish, 100%, that this site was more goddamn transparent about its fucking rules than anything before, but they're not, and that's just something that you'll have to fucking deal with, right? You know, it went from a website where you could kind of upload and have a good time to like, nowadays when you're editing a video, you're like sitting there scrubbing through the goddamn timeline. And if you're a fucking creator, I know you do this too. Scrub through the timeline, check every image, hear all the audio so you can get away with that video on YouTube's new system. You know, making content has definitely become a little bit more cumbersome, but I don't know. I still do like making content and I still do like entertaining you. And as corny as this shit sounds, you know, given the recent events that I've had just weeks ago with, you know, people in my community, I, I do want to make more content because the power of bringing you guys a smile is something that I, I don't take for fucking granted. It means a lot to me. Like, this is something that money can't fucking buy. OK, you can't just buy what we have over here. This is something that takes years to build up. And even beyond how I feel. Someone connects to this channel day to day to have a good time and laugh. All right. It is. I'm not going to say that I'm some fucking saint and requirement of YouTube. That would be really fucking egotistical of me. But the reality of it is there are people that come to this channel and I get DMs all the time. There's people that come here to have a fucking laugh. And if I if I don't provide the laugh or at least try to, then I'm not doing the right thing in my life, in my opinion. Right. And honestly, what does it take for me to play some Minecraft, to play some stupid game, to talk about some stupid shit, provide a laugh, have a good day and, and see how the world goes forward. So, yeah, that's just what I wanted to talk about. Just what I wanted to really bring up to you at like the uh, the near 1 a.m. feels, <laughs> if anything. So, yeah, let me know what you think about it in the comments section below. This is me, Mudahar. If you like what you saw, please like, comment and subscribe. Dislike it if you dislike it. I am out.